2013. Question number six, the Honourable David Parker. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. Given his statement yesterday that, quotes, solid energy was another example of where the incoming national government had to clean up a mess left by the previous government, end quote, what was the level of debt held by solid energy on 30 June 2008 compared with the level of debt on 30 June 2012? And what is the total amount of dividends received by the Crown from Solid Energy since he became Minister of Finance? Honourable Bill English. Uh, 15295000 and $163.9 million, respectively. Jump. Mr supplementary Speaker, supplementary question, Honourable uh, David Parker. Is the Minister of Finance aware that the Labor government never approved of solid energy's lignite developments because of dubious economics and greenhouse gas emissions, and that he, the Minister, turned the first sod on solid energy's lignite plant, and how is that the previous Labor government's fault? On, Honourable Bill Mr. Speaker, English. I think the member, is, the member is mixing up a couple of projects there. One is the briquette, one is the briquette plant, for which I did turn the first sod because it created jobs in a community where 400 jobs had been lost. And I know, of course, the opposition were against the new jobs in Matara, even though a whole lot of the people in Matara vote for the Labour Party. And now I'm asking them why. Point of order. Point of order. I seek leave to table a photograph of Mr English and Assad. No. <laughs> order. no. I'm not prepared to put that leave. Entry. Quest Supplementary. Supplementary question. Is the Parker. Minister aware that his national government encouraged solid energy to expand its coal operations and take on more debt? and to pay out higher dividends, all in the face of a falling coal price, and how is that the fault of the previous Labor government? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, I have to say Solid Energy didn't need any encouragement. They had uh, very large-scale plans for expansion, uh, which, the, which uh, the current government disagreed with. Of course, we could have moved, we could have moved faster to slow down Solid Energy's investment, but when we did move, the Labor Party organised a protest on the steps of Parliament, which means that we don't take their complaints about this very seriously. Uh, point of order. Point of order. I, I seek leave to a table, a document of Mr Brownlee's. Order. A call entitled I'm not prepared. Sexy prepared. Order. I'm not prepared to entertain this any further. Will the member continue his subs if he has Point of order. Point of order. Honourable Is it Donald. now out of order to uh, table photographs that are inconvenient to the government? Order. That is questioning a previous ruling. A point, of order, point of order, Mr order. Speaker. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, Honourable David Park. Is it out of order for members to seek leave to table photographs in this parliament? Order. I have given a substantial ruling on the table of documents. If a document is of assistance to uh, members, give some further good information, I will allow leave to be put. In this case, the member is attempting to play politics with a couple of photographs. I, I told him I would not put that leave. He continued his point of order, which is an abuse of the privilege of a point of order and will lead to disorder. Question order, point of order, Mr Speaker. Order. The member has a right to raise a point of order and, and, and it will be and, heard in silence. And, and my order. point of order, sir, is that we've had a minister denying the promotion of coal and a, and a member trying to uh, table a document which uh, was promoted by a minister, a current minister of the House, and described as sexy coal. Mr Speaker, it's, it, it, seems, it seems inappropriate not to allow a document entitled Sexy Coal to be tabled. Order. And again, that member is now disputing a ruling I have already given, and I will take that very seriously if it happens again. Question number seven. Supplementary. Supplementary. Order. 
I had called Catherine Delahunty for question number seven. Order, point of order. Point of order, Mr Speaker. I will hear the point of order. Mr Speaker, what happened there was David Parker was raising a point of order with you uh, before and you indicated that you didn't want to hear it so you moved on to the next question. Exactly he had right. further supplementary questions. Now, he had not at any point indicated to you that he had finished. Are you now saying that if, if you don't like something that's going to happen, you're just going to discontinue the question and move on? That's, that's, actually, that's wrong. No. Um, the member is quite right. That's exactly what I'm saying. If we're going to get into a situation... Order! If we're going to get into a situation where I detect a member is creating disorder, then I will move on. On this occasion, on this occasion, I will allow David Parker to finish his supplementary. Thank question. you, thank you, Mr. I have Speaker. Order, sorry, I have a point of order from the right. Mr. Honourable Speaker, you said in your ruling that you had relied upon a previous speaker's ruling. Can you tell us what that ruling is, please? No, I did not say I'd relied on a previous speaker's ruling. I said I had given a very substantive ruling. Uh, some two or three months ago, and I can get, I will send a copy to the member so he's fully aware of it. Not a ruling of the previous speaker. The, the order, speaker and that's not a point of order. Now, I have allowed David. I've allowed David Park to continue with his line of questioning. Uh, supplementary question. Given the Minister of Finance's statement on Monday about Labor's criticism of his government around solid energy and the future invent, investment fund, when he said, and I quote, "They need to show us who they're going to borrow the money off, which foreign bankers are going to lend us the money," end quote. If his government provides a loan to solid energy, which is not from the Future Investment Fund, will the government borrow for the loan, or is he just going to print the money? Honourable <laughs> Bill English. No, Mr Speaker, just as in student loans, we'll be borrowing for it. Oh, oh, supplementary, supplementary question. <laughs> Order. Supplementary question, the Honourable David Parker. Which is correct, that Treasury officials made a mistake reading the Cabinet minutes and appropriated $100 million from asset sales proceeds to, quotes, solid energy recovery facilities, seemingly without Cabinet authority, and this $100 million mistake was replicated in multiple Cabinet and budget documents that he and other ministers checked over and signed off in the lead-up to the budget, somehow all missing a $100 million error, or is it correct that he's once again covering up for the misrepresentations by the Prime Minister who feigned ignorance because he didn't want to associate the Future Investment Fund with his government's mismanagement of solid energy? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, the second assertion is nonsense. And the answer to the first one is that uh, the Treasury did not describe correctly what the Cabinet had decided. Order. Just before I call the member... The ruling I gave for the benefit of the uh, Right Honourable Winston Peters was the 19th of February 2013. The clerk has found a copy and we will pass that to the member for his information. Catherine Delahunty, question number seven. Uh, tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Tēnā...